so this is how we waste time while waiting for uh, pasta pasta dough to set. Come on, punch. He's not, he's not just... Alright. So, the pasta dough is set. <clears throat> Alright, nice and soft now. Check my stuff. Very good. Alright, so... <clears throat> I'll punch your brother's bone. So you see how, how nice and soft that is now? See? And stretch it. Right, because the gluten's relaxed now. Before, we couldn't roll this if we wanted to because the gluten itself wasn't relaxed. But now it's relaxed. I may not be relaxed, but the gluten's relaxed. So I'm going to say this for later. Make some uh, porpadelli or something like that. That later. You can refrigerate that for at least four days, four days, and use it um, just because of the eggs. The eggs in it make it perishable. So, so I'm just going to roll this up just a little bit. And now I'm going to use one piece now. We're going to roll this out for the ravioli. Okay. And I have my little work area here. Now, a lot of people, well, not a lot of people, just one in particular. Uh, my cousin Pete, he said to me when I was telling him about wanting to do a show about pasta, he said, who the hell wants to make pasta at home? I said, if he, you know, you got a, you got a pretty good uh, point there. No one. I don't think anyone really wants to learn how to make fresh pasta. You know, you could go to the supermarket and buy, buy it for, you know, a dollar a box. You know, three dollars for a jar of Prego or Ragu. You know what I mean? And have a meal for, you know, four people for five bucks. But where's the love in that, right? Where's the love? The love is right here, right? Been working on this thing for 40 minutes, right? So maybe there's a girl out there or a guy out there who wants to do something special for their boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, mom, dad, whatever, you know? So I just, I just help them. So Pete, catch that? That's for you. Anyhow, now Pete's a good guy. All right, so what we're gonna do is, I got my pasta roller machine here, okay? And I have it on seven, which is the widest setting. Okay, I have a little bit of flour. Okay, the flour will help moving stuff around. Okay, I'm gonna roll out the sheets for the for the ravioli first, and then I'm gonna cut I'm gonna cut the sheets for that. Yeah. Linguini, which is a big wide flat noodle. So just put it in and pass it through. This is going to be a little tough, I think, because this pasta machine isn't like 100% clamped down to the table. Yeah, that's not going to work here. Okay. Say, oops, I made a mistake. I braided it with your heart. The last in the game. <laughs> I think that was one of Britney Spears' song. Alright. This is going to take maybe a couple tries. So you guys bear with me here. Uh, so you just keep rolling the dough out. So that came out a lot better. So maybe there's just too much dough. Not enough flour. I'm going to tighten that up. Okay, so now I'm going to go down to a different number. When I was started out at 7 and now I'm going down to 6. And each pass through the machine the dough gets thinner, right? Which is what you want. And you whip it over like this. Hopefully it'll catch. Yeah, here we go. Now we got continuous. Now what you want to do is you want to roll this machine until you can see your fingers through the bottom of the pasta. See how I'm working that? 